Looks like there's a strange energy surrounding the city. We can't go any further. Guess there should be a mechanism or something around here, right? Traveler, looks like it's time to get into ruin exploring mode. Don't waste your time. Huh? Conria's technology, abyssal power. Two things I couldn't be more familiar with. <laughs> They're just cheap tricks to me. Okay, so the Abyss Order really is trying to hide something here, right? Hmm. Dan seems like he really understands what's going on here. No wonder the Abyss Order doesn't want him around. Not necessarily. The closer we draw, the more I am inclined to conclude the Abyss Order simply got to them before anyone else. Even older than Conria? Whoa, Pyron can't even imagine back that far. That said, the architecture here does somewhat resemble that of Conria. At least, it would if... Let's head toward the light over there. Mind your footing on the way ahead. It's a long way down. <gasps> Black Serpent Knights! Is this where they're based? Or wait, are they guarding something here? We are likely drawing near to whatever the Abyss Order is trying to hide. Let's take them out first. This is where we Hold on, I think they... Show 
Black Serpent Knights have nothing to do with the Abyss Order's secret. Huh. I should have guessed. So, what exactly is going on with these Hilly Churls? As I said, for these Hilly Churls, the end is nigh. They have grown old and fearful of the light, even become one with the darkness. And yet the curse continues to corrode them. to know why they were gathered here guarding the hilly churls, don't you? It's because as far as the Black Serpent Knights are concerned, they're simply doing their duty. The one who ordered them to retreat just now, I suddenly recognized him. I knew him as a young man, an elite in the Royal Guard of old. His name is Halfdan. So, he's from 500 years ago too? To this day, I still remember the final orders I, the Twilight Sword, gave to Halfdan on the day of disaster in Kanria, before I made haste back to the palace. Inform all Black Serpent Knights to protect the people of Kanria at all costs. Because we, of course, were royal guards. But this would mean nothing in the events that followed. Royals, gentry, common folk, these identities made no difference. Against the might of the gods, the only identity that mattered was being from Kanria. These black serpent knights have lost their intellect, but perhaps, in whatever remains of their minds, they are still protecting the people of Kanria. If you see these ruins as Kanria in the throes of disaster, and these hilly churls as the people crying for help, then, suddenly, I can make sense of what I'm hearing. Their growls are less of a threat, and more of a warning. Then, what are they saying? Though it is barely discernible, I can just about make it out. They keep repeating a word from the old language of Kanria. Run. Even I have to admit, the fact their will is strong enough to survive 500 years of erosion. It is nothing short of a miracle, born from hopelessness. Oh, so Paimon 
even had them all wrong. It doesn't matter. Even I took them for enemies for a moment. Let's keep heading toward the light at the top. I believe the Black Serpent Knights will no longer try to stop us. Sure enough, we aren't seeing any more Black Serpent Knights. Guess that half damn guy really did recognize Captain Dane, huh? So, there's no Abyss Order secrets to be found here. Just a bunch of hilly churls, nearing the end of their existence. We probably shouldn't disturb them. All these hilly churls want is to quietly fade away in peace. Hyman hopes they can get their final wish. must be part of the entire city structure. A relic of this ancient civilization. And more importantly, it is the very thing that is weakening the curse. Here, my whole body feels more at peace than it has in a long time. The effect is stronger here than it was before. And I think it's because that water pool has something akin to a cleansing effect. Cleansing? So... That means, the water in that pool can wash away the curse for good? No. That would be impossible. How are you so sure? I have lived with this curse for 500 years, and I have been fully conscious the entire time. Suffice to say, no one understands the curse like I do. It is a way of branding us at the level of the fate of the world itself. When a god applies a curse, it takes effect at a higher level of reality than the person themselves. Even now, I can feel the curse slowly permeating my entire being, becoming part of me, slowly but surely replacing me. Perhaps it may be possible to suppress the corrosive effect of the curse for a time, but cleansing it entirely, consider it tantamount to burning away an integral part of your body. It is not a process that one could ever hope to survive. Huh? Cleansing the curse cost you your life? Whoa. An irreversible curse! Paimon can't even imagine! In any case, I can feel that the water's cleansing effect is not nearly potent enough. At most, it might suppress the curse, but a little. Frankly, I have never seen a device of this design before either. It is not unreasonable to suspect that it could belong to the Abyss Order. But what could they be planning to do here? Ah! Oh, that gave Paimon a fright! So, all the doors are open now? Halfdan, do you have something to say to me? He ran off! But he didn't disappear like last time. He's indicating that we should follow him. Are you coming? True. So, uh, we going then? Jump down over there! Let's follow him! Look 
Looks like Halfdan disappeared at the far end of this path. Perhaps whatever lies ahead is what he wants us to see. Let's keep going. It's a humble hilly churl camp. Oh, these hilly churls look like they're in pretty bad shape, too. Some of them look like they've already taken their final breath. Is this what Halfdan wanted to show us? Whether it is or not, everything here is worth investigating in detail. Inspect the area. Leave no stone unturned. Seems like these hilly churls have no life left in them at all. Before long, they'll become one with the darkness. The hilly churls we meet in the wild are always so rowdy. Paimon never would have imagined that this is how they spend their final days. We may not have a whole lot of happy memories dealing with hilly churls, but still, Paimon hopes they're at peace in their last moments. Hilly churls usually store food in crates like these, right? But they seem pretty much empty. Is it because they're so near to the end that they don't need to eat anymore? Hmm... Even if they don't need to eat anymore, Paimon bets they still miss food for the flavor. There's even a bonfire here! Like what Hilly Churls built in the wild! Wait, but... Wasn't Dane saying that hilly churls get scared of the light when they reach the very end of their lives? Hmm. Maybe, in the very, very end, they still want to feel some light and warmth. Oh. Uh, just thinking aloud here uh, could also be another reason. How did that flower get this far underground? Did someone bring it in memory of the deceased hilly churls? Hey, now that you mention it, Paimon thinks it looks kind of familiar, too! It is the national flower of Kanria, the Intivat. It once bloomed all over the nation. It would only last two weeks before wilting. But if you were to pluck one and take it out of Kanria, the petals would stop growing and turn hard. Only when it finally returned to its home soil would the petals grow soft once more and finally turn to dust. So the Intivat is a symbol for a wanderer far from home, signifying the tenderness of the homeland. <gasps> so for this flower to get here, it must have been brought from... Focusing single-mindedly on confronting the heavenly principles, we neglected our original mission. The revival of the homeland. I should not have been so indecisive. The device is almost ready. We await your command. What are the chances of succeeding? Theoretically speaking, uh, approximately... Forget it. Even a 1% chance is enough. For too long have we dwelt in the Abyss. Surely they would rather return to the natural cycle of life and death as soon as possible than continue to exist as they are, without a shred of dignity. They cannot be made to continue paying the price for those so-called sins. The Order is most fortunate to be graced with your decision. Either. You saw something, didn't you? Can you tell me what it was? Yeah, you zoned out for quite a while there. Huh. Well, 
People do say that twins have a special connection. It sounds as if they are attempting to make use of certain equipment to cleanse the curse. It could well be the device we saw earlier. And... you say he mentioned the revival of the homeland, correct? No surprise there. Stubborn as ever. It appears as if the Abyss Order plans to use this location to cleanse the Hilly Churls of their curse and restore them to the way they once were. Then, they will serve as the foundation for reviving the nation of Kanria. After all, there can be no nation without a people. <laughs> it is the height of foolishness. They have no chance of success, not even a 1% chance. I told you already that no one knows this curse better than I, having lived with it for 500 years. There is no redemption. There is no undoing the curse. Trying to remove it by force will achieve nothing but to inflict further suffering. So make sure you are clear in your mind. You have to tell yourself, they are no longer human. If you cling to false hope and allow yourself to become too emotionally invested, the only way is down. You will end up just like them, mired in hypocrisy. Save your strength for something worth saving. Oh? <laughs> but of course, I am merely someone you hired for a task, while he is your brother. It is only natural for you to side with him. But whatever decision you make cannot deter me from mine. My... I see. It seems that the three questions I put to you on our first meeting were worthwhile. You have developed your own individual views on this world. Very well. Since you have volunteered your true thoughts on this matter, I shall not hide mine from you. Right now, I have a more immediate agenda than stopping the Abyss. That is to say, the Abyss's actions here directly dishonor the final wishes of Halfdan and my other compatriots. I cannot allow this to proceed. The Abyss may appear at any moment. Be on your guard at all times as we proceed. We can see the Upside Down City from here, too! Wait, watch out! Ah! Oh, wh what's going on? Is that light coming from the room in the center? Oh, it's too bright! The mutation is continuing. Has the Abyss made its move already? Jane Smith, I see your incessant meddling continues, and that you have once again joined forces with our Highness's kin. Regrettably, I was not in time to control your exit from the network, and it sent you here of all places. <laughs> this was a catastrophic error. Hmm. I am surprised that you dare to face me. You ran like a coward last time. Our Highness's will must be done. All interferences must be removed, whatever the price to pay. This time, the curse that torments our people must be undone, once and for all. You are the only ones who torment them. There is nothing else left of those hilly churls. Nothing besides the curse itself. Say what you wish. I am going nowhere, Dainsley. Then you will give your life just to delay the inevitable. How absurd. But since you wish to persist, then so be it. You really think you can use that device beneath the pool to cleanse this curse? Do not underestimate the rules of the abyss. The device cannot provide the cleansing effect of the water, not ten moves, but a hundred moves! Then I overestimated you. This plan is even cruder than I thought.
wanted my full attention, did you? There's no time to celebrate. The Abyss Order's device is activating, but there's still time to destroy it. Alright, let's go! <gasps> Look, the amplification device! would have been turned to ashes in an instant. Halfdan's soul is extraordinarily resilient. Meddling fool! Encumber us no more! Don't you have a greater encumbrance to worry about? Come on! This is your grand opportunity to get rid of me! Tainsliff! Take him out and deactivate the device! Shine! Uh, uh, uh. 
As long as the device is active, the cursed are rendered powerless. Only you can take on the Abyss. If you value his sacrifice, then do not waste any more time here. See all these rays of light and portals. They must have installed several of these energy devices in various locations. Find them, quickly! So, we have to go through these Abyss portals? are enduring far greater suffering than I. There's no time to lose! Yeah! 
burning sensation has indeed stopped. So, we managed to stop the Abyss Order's plan? <sighs> Let me check. Dane must be really upset. Of all the ways to be reunited with one of his former comrades after so long, this is rough. <sighs> Let's go. Captain Dainsliff, Twilight Sword. Back then, I failed you and failed to protect our people. <laughs> no. For 500 years, you have faithfully done your duty. 
to this day, I am proud of you all. <sighs> Conria didn't fall, did it? Since you're still here. Correct. No need to revive the homeland. That was Haftian's soul! More than one kind of strange power exists here. Souls are no strange sight under the circumstances. Still, if you intend to venture deeper in and continue your investigation, you ought to be careful. <coughs> you bet! Careful! Oh, but dang! Does this mean you're not coming with us? That device took a severe toll on me. It will take me some time to recover. Oh! Right. Well, actually, Baimon already knew that. You've clearly been pushing through the pain this whole time. You've earned a good rest, Dane. Oh, you should take a vacation! Vacation? The very notion. This word has no business being in my vocabulary. There are more important things that demand my attention. The Loom of Fate operation is still underway, and I suspect that these amplification devices are connected to that plan. Thank you for understanding. I only hope that next time we meet, you know whose side you're on. Sheesh! He sure knows how to hold a grudge, saving that snide remark right until the end. Well, shame that we didn't get to see your brother again, but at least we learned some useful info, huh? As long as you keep pressing on with your journey, you guys will definitely meet again, and everything will be back to normal, right? Oh, Paimon almost forgot. The real reason we came here was to investigate what was going on with the hill trills, wasn't it? We've probably seen enough to report back to the miner now, but... Ugh... How are we going to explain it to him? This is all way too complicated for regular people to understand. Uh, eh, we'll figure it out. Just don't forget about the commission when we're done here.